Hello friends, today I will discuss about function of anti-pumping relay in a circuit breaker and how does the anti-pumping relay prevent the circuit breaker from hunting. So before discussing about the function of the anti-pumping relay, let us discuss about the how the break, breaker closing operation and tripping operation is done and uh, then we will discuss about the anti-pumping relay function. So this is the uh, closing circuit of the circuit breaker. Here we have a positive bus and here we have a negative bus and both the bus is connected by a fuse. So these are the two fuse. So here we have a local remote selector switch contact. So this is the contact for uh, local uh, contact uh, that is from which the local operation of the circuit breaker uh, can be done and here the contact is for remote operation of the circuit breaker. And here is the local TNC switch that is strict neutral close co uh, switch contact. So uh, there exists the closing coil. This is the closing coil of the circuit breaker and in parallel with the closing coil uh, path uh, we have the anti-pumping relay. In ANSI code the anti-pumping relay is represented as 94. So we have uh, a closing contact, close contact, uh, normally close contact in series with the closing coil circuit and uh, we have a uh, breaker auxiliary contact that is normally a close uh, auxiliary contact of the circuit breaker in series with the closing coil uh, circuit and we have another contact which is limit switch contact that is the normally open contact uh, that if uh, spring is charged condition this contact will be in closed position. So these are the contact are shown in all unenergized conditions. So in series with the uh, anti-pumping relay, we have a breaker uh, auxiliary NO contact that is a normally open contact and with this uh, contact we have a, a parallel, with this parallel we have a another contact that is anti-pumping relay contact uh, and this is normally open contact. All the contacts are shown in uh, unenergized contact. So these are the closing circuit of the circuit breaker and uh, so how the closing operation of the circuit breaker is done since circuit breaker is in off condition and this will be in NC position and since the spring is charge condition this contact will be in NC positions. So uh, if we give the closing pulse and this local remote selector switch in local mode uh, that is the local operation is done uh, for uh, closing the circuit breaker. So if we give the closing pulse uh, from this TNC switch uh, path will be through. So this positive pulse will come to this local remote selector contact to the TNC switch contact and uh, this uh, positive uh, pulse comes to this point. Since the anti-pumping relay is an, an unenergized condition, so this positive pulse will come to the uh, this point. Since breaker is off conditions and limit switch contact is in NC position. So a voltage that is the 220 volt uh, DC volt will be across this closing coil. So the breaker, uh, this closing coil will energize and this closing coil uh, make the circuit breaker in on position. So as soon as the circuit breaker is on position, this contact changes uh, position from NC to NO position and this contact changes position from NO to NC positions. Okay. So the circuit breaker is on condition. So the uh, all the auxiliary contact of the circuit breaker will change its positions. The NC contact uh, will come to an NO position and the NO contact will come to the NC position. Now let us take uh, the example how the uh, trip coil is energized that is how the tripping of the circuit breaker is done in case of local operation. So this is the uh, trip circuit of the circuit breaker in series with the trip coil we have a, uh, a no uh, auxiliary a no contact of the circuit breaker whenever the circuit breaker in closed position this contact will come to an nc position so this is the trip neutral cl uh, close uh, contact that is the tripping contact of the uh, tnc switch and this is the local remote selector switch contact in local position whenever a local position this contact will be through and this is the local remote uh, selector switch remote contact so in order to 
local operation of the circuit breaker tripping operation. So if we give the trip pulse from the TNC switch, the DC pulse will come uh, to the local remote uh, selector uh, switch contact via TNC uh, switch contact uh, to the uh, come to this position. Since this auxiliary contact in NC position due to the circuit breaker is on position, uh, the trip across the tip coil at 220 volt uh, DC voltage will uh, drop. Since as soon as the trip coil is uh, get this voltage, the tip coil will energize and by means of string mechanism, it will trip the circuit breaker. So this trip, uh, this uh, auxiliary contact uh, will change its position from MC to NO and this auxiliary contact will change its position to NC to NO and this uh, auxiliary contact come to NO to NC for next closing operation of the circuit breaker. So this is how the local operation of the local tripping operation of the circuit breaker can be done. Now for the remote uh, close and remote trip, mm, we have to connect uh, a cable to the uh, remote end uh, control and relay panel. For remote close, uh, this uh, a cable is connected to the remote closing circuit of the circuit breaker and for remote tripping, a cable is connected for the remote tripping of the circuit. And for protection trip, that is protection trip means uh, the trip will be occurred from the uh, relay or master trip relay. So whenever a fault is occurred, the relay will uh, sense this fault and relay contact will make. And as soon as the relay contact is made, it will energize the master trip relay and master trip relay contact will make and the DC pulse come to the remote control panel and to the trip coil of the circuit breaker and it will uh, trip the circuit breaker in fault condition. This is how the remote uh, uh, close remote trip and protection trip operation can be done for the circuit breaker. Now I will understand, we will understand how the uh, anti-pumping relay will uh, function. Uh, now uh, we will understand how the anti-pumping relays uh, work. So. Suppose the breaker is in on condition, since breaker is on condition, the, the auxiliary contact uh, that is the 52 will come to in NO position and as soon as the breaker is on, this uh, limit switch contact will be, that is spring will be charged and this contact uh, come to again in NC position. So if we give another uh, closing pulse from the TNC switch, uh, this DC positive comes to the via local remote uh, selector contact via TNC switch contact come to this point. Since the anti-pumping relay is in de-energized conditions, uh, again this contact come to this position. This, so the, this DC pulse cannot come to the closing coil of the uh, circuit breaker. Rather, uh, this DC pulse will go to the via auxiliary contact of the circuit breaker to the across the uh, uh, coil of the anti-pumping relay. So this coil will energize. So as soon as this coil is energized, the auxiliary contact will change its states from NO to NC positions. That is, the this auxiliary contact uh, come to in NC position and this auxiliary contact in come to in NO positions. Okay. So since uh, this auxiliary contact uh, come to in NC positions and this auxiliary come to in NO position. And the anti-pumping relay will remain in energized condition via its own auxiliary contact. So if the circuit breaker uh, is tripped under uh, fault conditions, the DC pulse will, uh, does not come to the closing coil of the circuit breaker, rather uh, this anti-pumping relay uh, remain energized by this uh, anti-pumping relay uh, contact. So this is the function of the anti-pumping relay. So anti-pumping relay prevents the multiple pulse uh, to the uh, closing coil of the circuit breaker. So it only allows only single pulse to the closing coil of the circuit breaker. This is the function of the anti-pumping relay. Now what is the hunting? Now how does the hunting phenomena can be uh, oper uh, can be uh, happen in case of circuit breaker? So in order to understand the hunting operation, let us remove the uh, anti-pumping circuit in parallel with the closing coil and uh, let us understand the plus uh, hunting operation. Uh, then um, we will discuss how the anti-pumping relay prevent the circuit breaker from hunting operation. So 
this is the remote close path of the circuit breaker that is a TNC switch is connected in the remote control panel and the TNC switch is the uh, spring mechanism type. So what does the spring mechanism type of the TNC switch that is whenever the uh, trip neutral close switch is moved to the close point if we uh, release the uh, release the uh, switch from the close point it will automatically come to the neutral position of the uh, TNC switch again if we move the uh, tripping uh, tripping trip, uh, if you give the tripping pulse um, by moving the uh, TNC switch to the trip position and release then it will automatically come to the neutral point of the TNC switch so this is how the TNC switch work so in order to understand the hunting operation, uh, let us uh, take the exam and consider the TNC switch spring mechanism uh, is uh, broken. That is the TNC switch uh, spring action uh, does not uh, operate. That is the TNC switch uh, come uh, always comes in the uh, close positions. Okay, that is a continuous DC pulse is uh, always come to this point and they are working with this point. Now breaker is in on position, uh, breaker is in on position thereby this NO contact will come to the NC auxiliary NC contact come to the NO position. So there is no chance uh, for another DC pass uh, to go to the closing coil of the circuit breaker. If a continuous pulse will come to the closing coil of the circuit breaker then this closing coil will burn out. Okay. Now consider a fault condition, uh, due to fault condition uh, the relay will energize and relay uh, will send a trip signal from the protection trip path uh, to this uh, position and the DC pulse will come to this point and thereby it will energize the trip coil of the circuit breaker. So as soon as the trip coil is energized, uh, this, uh, this inner contact will come to the uh, NC contact come to the inner con position and this inner contact will come to the NC positions. Okay. So since fault, uh, if the fault is cleared, uh, then uh, the circuit breaker will again uh, close and, uh, due to this, the, the remote close uh, path. Since the uh, DC positive is come to this point due to failure of the spring mechanism of the TNC switch, which is located at the remote control and relay panel. Okay. Now, if the fault is cleared, uh, there is no problem. But if fault persists, what will happen? The relay will continuously send a, a trip pulse. Uh, that is the DC positive will continuously come to this point. The trip coil will again energize. Okay. Due to this, this you know, contact and again come to an NC positions, positions and thereby the closing coil will again energize and thereby it will automatically close the circuit breaker. So, since the fault is persist and a the continuous DC pulses come to this point due to failure of the spring mechanism of the TNC switch, the circuit breaker come to a state close open, close open. This type of phenomena will happen. So, this is called the hunting operation. So, anti-pumping relay prevent the hunting operation of the circuit breaker. So how does the anti-pumping relay prevent hunting? Uh, now we will understand. So anti-pumping relay uh, remain in parallel with the closing circuit of the circuit breaker. Since the breaker is in on conditions and a continuous DC pulse is uh, come to this point, the anti-pumping will be remain in energized by its own contact. That is first uh, it will be energized by auxiliary contact of the circuit breaker. And as soon as this coil is energized, this contact will come to an NC position. And again, uh, the uh, in NC contact of the anti-pumping relay will change its states. Uh, so it's come to in N position from NC contact. Uh, and thereby this anti-pumping relay uh, will remain energized by its own auxiliary contact. So it will cut uh, the uh, DC pulse to the closing coil of the circuit breaker. Now consider the situation, the uh, fault is persisting, there is the, a permanent fault is occur and the relay is sending a trip signal from the remote end uh, uh, tripping path. So a DC pulse is coming to this point. So the trip coil is energized and it will 
we send a trip signal by spring mechanism to the circuit breaker. So the circuit breaker will be tripped as soon as the circuit breaker is tripped this auxiliary contact come to NC positions and this auxiliary will come to in NO position and a continuous DC pulse is, is, uh, is going through this path. So as this anti-pumping relay is energized by its own auxiliary contact and this any uh, auxiliary contact of the anti-pumping relay come to in NO position thereby this anti-pumping relay prevent the another DC pulse to the closing coil of the circuit breaker and thereby it will prevent the hunting operation of the circuit breaker in fault conditions. So this is how the anti-pumping relay prevent hunting operation of the circuit breaker.